Welcome to HD Movie Maker Tutorials. This tutorial will feature how to work with photo clips in HD Movie Maker. Let's create a new project and add some photos. Click on Add Clip, Photos and Videos, and bring in your photos. Now you have some photos on your timeline. Click on the first photo. Notice the blue line that appears immediately under the photo you've selected. You will also now see the photo menu bar. It appears under the photo displayed. These settings include duration, transform, transition, motion, rotate, and more tools. Duration is the amount of time in seconds the photo clip will show on your project. You can change the photo display duration by entering a number directly in the box. The minimum value is 1 second, and the maximum value is 1200, equal to 20 minutes. Let's set the first photo to 6 seconds. In Transform, you can choose Fit or Fill. Or, you can also choose the frame, which adds a picture-in-picture to the video. Transitions provide motion from clip to clip. You can choose over 30 different transition effects in HD Movie Maker. Motion is the feature that applies the Ken Burns effect to your images. You can choose from a variety of Ken Burns effects here. Rotate provides you the ability to rotate your images that may come into your project at the wrong rotation. Each click will rotate the image 90 degrees. Next on the menu is more tools. Here you will find crop and enhance, text overlay, photo overlay, and all settings. First, let's look at crop and enhance. You can choose a custom crop or crop to an aspect ratio 16 by 9, 4 by 3, would allow you to crop it to a 4 by 3 ratio. If you want this crop, just click OK. And you also have the option of turning off crop tools. Enhancement effects allow you to add a filter effect to your image. HD Movie Maker has more than 40 different adjustments. And each adjustment comes with a sliding adjuster. One example is Color Boost. Color Boost can truly pop the colors in your photo, and you can adjust the gain to bring in more colors or lower it to remove the color. The other example is Vibrance. Vibrance allows you to change the level of the vibrance of the image as well as sensitivity. When you've made your changes, click OK. We will have additional videos on text and photo overlay for now, I will quickly show you how to add some text. Click on the text overlay, add text, highlight enter text here, type your text, enlarge it, move it. If you do not wish the text, hit the garbage can and click OK. In photo overlay, what you may call picture in picture, you can also add a photo. You can enlarge that photo. Put it in location of your choice. If you do not want it, hit the delete garbage can and OK. Under the more tools, you will also find all settings. All settings allows you a number of options and feature controls. One excellent feature is the ability to preview the effects and the transition and motions. First, duration. You can change the time of all photos here by changing the time. I'll change this to 7 seconds and apply to all photos by saying yes. Also located under the general tab is the transform effect. You can choose fit, fill, or the framed images. Under the general tab in all settings, you also have the options to change the offset X, the rotate X, the offset Y, the rotate Y and offset Z. The default for this image is to rotate Y. To increase that, I can type in 30 
and it moves the image. Or you can use the up and down arrows. The offset X moves the image from the left to the right. Rotate X rotates the image top and bottom. The offset Y moves the photo up and down. And the offset Z zooms the photo in and zooms the photo out. You can apply this to all photos or randomize it for all photos. I'm going to go back to fit. Next in all settings is the transitions. The emphasis here is where you can view the transitions If I choose Fade, I can apply it to all photos, or I can randomize effects for all photos. I'm going to apply Fade to all photos and say Yes. Next in all settings is Motion. These are the same effects that are on the main timeline. However, here you're able to preview. You can use this also to apply the motion effect to all photos or randomize this effect for all photos. When you are done, you can click OK. You also have the option of changing your settings from the main menu bar. You will get the option to click on photo clips, change the duration, transitions, transform, and motions. To save your project, click on the Save Project button and click Save. Name your project and say OK. If you are happy with your video, it's time to save your video to share with others. Click Save Video. Click OK. Save your project. Thank you for watching this tutorial on HD Movie Maker.